Hey guys, Gia here and um, today I'm going to be doing a tattoo tour. This is something that I get asked quite a lot on TikTok, like where was the most painful tattoo, which of my tattoos have meaning, etc. So I'm just going to answer all of them in this video today and I hope you like it. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, every little helps. It really does mean a lot to me and yeah, let's get into the video. The main tattoo that I get asked quite a lot about, um, as it's probably the most noticeable one, is this tattoo on my neck. There wasn't really any backstory behind this, um, it's kind of just like I wanted a neck tattoo so I got one um that's kind of the thing with most of my tattoos to be completely honest um don't worry if you see this bit of sofa moving it is just my dog he likes to bury himself into the blanket and yeah that's where he chills so the pattern itself is called the flower of life um which has a whole other meaning if you want to sit and look into that it, it's very interesting no, come on then. My dog is wanting to say hi, I think. Oh, baby, come to mommy. I know. Is he a oh. oh, grumpy boy. Oh my god, I need to sneeze. Oh my god, that was wild. Okay, anyway, back to the video. So, yeah, my neck tie is the one that I get asked about the most. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really have much story behind it other than the fact that i wanted it so i got it moving on let's say i maybe i should be best of taking this jumper off oh my god look how many more just came out on display now got hair stuff on it arms as you can see i have most of my arms covered um so i'm gonna start with this arm these are just mainly what i got i think i was like 20 when i got most of my tattoos something i do get asked a lot if i regret them it's kind of, I don't regret getting them, but if I could get them again now, I would get them differently. I probably wouldn't get the same ones that I have now, but obviously I've got them, so it's not like I hate them. Like, I don't look at them every day and think, oh, like, why have I done this to myself? Because they genuinely don't bother me. I think they bother other people more than they bother me. It's not something that I would probably particularly get in this day and age if i was going to get my tattoos again and i suppose that's the thing that you have to think about when you get tattooed like this is a permanent thing it's going to be in your body for life so you have to kind of consider am i still going to like this in 10 years whatever but you know i don't kind of don't overthink it it's it's part of my aesthetic should i say now so i'm kind of just like yeah just leave it there we have got um this is like some wolf woman thing um so this was a cover up that went wrong. Um, so that's why it's not really anything. It's like, I call it a cabbage because I think that's like the closest describing word that I could find to whatever this is, exhibit A. So we have a lock and key. I have quite a lot of lock and keys. I got another lock and key there. Maybe I'm just really into BDSM. I don't know, there's a lot of lock and keys. So we've got the cabbage. We've got like a little lipstick a lion um everyone always asks if i'm a leo which i am not i'm actually an aries which um i'll get onto in a minute which is the inspiration behind this tattoo um but no i'm not actually a leo the reasons why i've got a huge lion on my arm is unknown it is literally just because i liked it so i got it at the time funny story i actually took out one alone to pay for this tattoo um, and then didn't pay it back because I was young and stupid. Don't make those mistakes. It affected me massively going forward. Um, but yeah, that was the backstory behind that. So yeah, now I have a lion on my arm and a lot of debt. <laughs> Russian doll. I think I had one when I was a kid. Um, but I just, again, I just really liked the pattern. Is that what it's called? I'm so useless at all this tattoo terminology the majority of the tattoos that i'm going to show you in this video are just tattoos that i liked so i got um especially like on this arm we've got the little um definitely hallows because i am a potter head um absolutely love anything to do with harry potter so yeah that was what that was to symbolize um this was a cover-up going down my arm it actually said something else i can't actually remember what it said um but it was something that i got when i was like drunk and stupid. I used to live abroad 
um, and I was working in like holiday resorts so I was getting drunk quite a lot and had access to a lot of tattoo shops which um, would give me discounted tattoos which did not work in my favour because I ended up looking like this um, but yeah like I said no regrets like what can you do that I know another tattoo I got this one says bad ideas um, because I am full of those so this is one of the tattoos that actually does have meaning for me so back in 2017 I lost a close friend of mine to suicide um, and this was her birthday her favourite animal was a panda um, so this little like bit obviously has meaning um, and our group chat was called a sad girls club hence why I've got this little sad girls club thing there um, weird story so one girl I used to work in this club and there was this girl who like used to copy everything that I did and she copied that tattoo like she copied loads of my other tattoos which is like fair enough because they're very like generic things like the Russian doll perfume bottle like whatever every girl gets those but she literally copied this sad girls club I was like people just make me so mad but yeah okay moving on before I lose my yeah mermaid because again I just like mermaids nothing really too deep um this tattoo so this was meant to be like what are they called um the in the, do you know like the people wear like the Indian headdress an Indian a red Indian is that what it's called well it's a good job but I didn't get it because I clearly don't know what it is but yeah this was meant to be like one of them red Indians and then I got to the shop and the guy, so basically I think the guy was like doing me this tattoo like dead cheap in exchange for like, I think it was like an old game or something, I can't remember. Um, but then he just showed me, back then I was a bit too like scared to be like, oh no, that's not what I wanted. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll have that. And ended up with a tattoo that I didn't want. And then everyone always says like, it looks like he's wearing glasses. And you know what, I can kind of see it. Um, but she's not wearing glasses, it is a like veil, I think it's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, it would like, I don't think it's wearing glasses. <laughs> so what have we got here? This is just some little dude. So when I was trying to fill in like a lot of my gaps, I literally just found loads of little weird things and just said to my tattoo, was like, I will not put these little things on me. Um, and that's what it did. So now I have loads of like, yeah, like random little bits that just don't make any sense. I also had the inside of my hands tattooed, but it's actually come off now. It used to say higher love. Um, because I'm so northern, um, quite a few of us got it all tattooed. We all just say like, I love. So, oh my God, that's my dog's trigger word. I completely forgot. Like usually when I say that, he goes mad. <laughs> He actually didn't at this time. <laughs> I'd hire love, that came off over the years. I don't know if it was from like, I don't know, but it's not there now, thank God. <laughs> this is a ram in a dagger. And I always get told this looks like Frostmourne from World of Warcraft, which it isn't, but I can, I've seen what Frostmourne looks like and it is actually like really similar. Um, so I can see the confusion. So yeah, it's not Frostmourne, it is literally just a ram in a dagger and the simple fact just because I am an Aries, so yeah, that was why I got the ram. Um, and then as we move on to my stomach, I've got this biggish one that says La Vie à Belle, which means life is beautiful in French. And then underneath, it's the 1994, which is my date of birth. I know I'm a grandma. Um, and then let's see which ones we've got here. So these ones are like, these ones are cover up. So this is a panther and then that's a snake these were just cover-ups um of ones i had on my lower abdomen um it was just like a little star something ratchet and then on my back i've got this big red dragon um and yeah everyone says did i mean to get him red i'm like oh well, yeah obviously because it's red i kind of like it red it's a little bit abstract a little bit different so i also have one on my cheek not the cheek on my face. I have one on the cheek on my face as well. Um, and then I have one on my other cheek, which I'm not gonna show because I don't think it's loud, but that's just a peacock feather um, that I actually got when I was on a TV show like a couple of years ago called Tattoo Fixers. Um, and the episodes are actually still on Netflix, which is mega cringe because 
it's just so like it was just a really cringe era of my life but it's there if you want to go laugh at it and make fun of me basically i did not really want that tattoo it's kind of weird how they like make it they, they give you a choice right but you, you don't actually get to pick the tattoo they just say like name a theme of something you like and i seen this really nice like peacock tattoo i was like oh yeah that but then they just gave me something completely different and a peacock feather so i wasn't happy with that but it's i can't see it like it's on the back of me so i always just forget about it anyway so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna i'm not sure like how things like i'm not allowed to pull my trousers down show you my thigh tires but i do have on one thigh um i have like it's a ganesh which i actually did myself like when I was like 18, I bought a tattoo gun and just went wild. Um, I have had it topped up since because the line work wasn't great, but I have that on one leg. And then on my other leg, there is a, it's like a gypsy woman thing. Um, and then I have like a moth going up my thigh. Um, and then my shins, this shin is a Medusa. And I actually don't think I have anything on this shin. I don't have anything on the shin, but I do have a slice of pizza on my ankle because I like pizza. That is the only reason. And then this leg I have Post Malone because I just love him so much. I have a Flareon because Flareon's one of my favourite Pokemon. It's my favourite Eevee. I love it. Out of all the Eevee evolutions, I always pick Flareon every time. Sometimes Jolion, but Flareon is always my fave. I've also got like a little gummy Charmander, if you can see that. I should really just move the camera instead of trying to do all these angles. Um, oh, and then I forgot on this ankle I have, um, that says burn it down and it's a lighter. And then that says naughty daddy because I went through a phase where I was like calling everyone daddy. It was a bit, yeah. Anyway, but I, yeah, the daddy tattoo stays. Hands, I've already spoke about this one. This one's just like a mandala. And then on my knuckles, this is so cringe, but it says lost star because I am a lost star. <laughs> Honestly, I remember getting these at like 18, thinking I was so cool, getting knuckle tats. And I was like, what do I want it to say? I want it to say something a little bit different. So I went into random four word name generator, random four word word generator, and it generated me lost star. So I then proceeded to have that tattooed on me for the rest of eternity because I am an idiot. Um, and then I just have these little like symbols, ignore that nail, it's obviously skunky. Um, yeah, just some little symbols on top of my fingers. And then I think, I think that that is all my tattoos. Oh no, right, I have one more on my shoulder that I haven't shown. So this was my first ever tattoo. So yeah, can you see that little, um, <laughs> That is my own date of birth, um, done freehand in some really dodgy ink. Um, not my greatest move. I think I was 14 when I got that. Um, so yeah, not the best, but hey, again, as I said, it's on the back of me. Like I don't see it, so I just forget about it. So it doesn't really give me too much stress. That's what all my tattoos. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want to see what I've got to come in future. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.